Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignante de la langue française. Et dans cette vidéo, on va apprendre les vêtements d'hiver. That means the winter clothes. Before we begin with this video, I would like to introduce you to my website www.learnfrenchbysuchita.com where you will find recorded courses for all your French language needs. We have courses for DELF A1, DELF A2, DELF B1, TEF TCF recorded course, French phonetics as well. We have special courses for our school students ranging from grade 5 to grade 8. We also have courses for university students who are enrolled in certificate course or diploma course in Delhi University. And finally, we also have courses for our school students who are aiming to appear for their DELF Prime or DELF Junior examinations. So hurry up and check it out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. And we are going to talk about the vocabulary related to les vêtements d'hiver. That means the winter clothing, the clothes of winter. So I thought, you know, the winters are approaching. So why not learn some vocabulary? And in fact, now it's the season of winter. I should not even say that winters are approaching. So it is the season of winter. So why not learn some, some clothes, some, some vocabulary related to winters? Alors, les vêtements. Les vêtements. Les vêtements. That means the clothes. Les vêtements de hiver. Hiver. That means winter. So that means the clothes of winters. Les vêtements. Repeat. Now, the most important thing to learn the vocabulary is that you repeat. Keep on repeating. Huh? That's les vêtements. Les vêtements. You know, the clothes is also known as les habits. Les habits, H-A-B-I-T-S, les habits. So, les vêtements are les habits. Now, let's start with the first one and that's a scarf. Scarf or a muffler that you wear in winters that is known as une écharpe. Une écharpe. Écharpe. Une écharpe. On continue avec... Gloves. Now the gloves that you wear in winters, that's des gants. Des gants. Des gants. However, if it would have been one glove or a glove, we would have written un gant. Un gant. So, une écharpe. Des gants. Overcoat. Now the overcoat, the long coat that you wear in winters, that's un manteau. Un manteau. The cardigan is un gilet. Un gilet. Un gilet. Pullover. That's un pull. Un pull. Or you can also say un pullover. Un pullover. So un pull or un pullover. On continue avec winter cap. Now you must have seen a cap which generally has a ball at the at the at the top. So that is known as un bonnet. Un bonnet. Un bonnet. Alors socks. Socks in French are known as des chaussettes. Des chaussettes. But here I've written Des chaussettes épaisses. That means the thick socks. Because socks you can wear during uh, summers as well. So, des chaussettes, if you say that, normally socks. But if you want to say thick socks, so that would be known as des chaussettes épaisses. Okay? So, I should here write the thick socks. Des chaussettes épaisses. However, if you want to say it in singular way, you say une chaussette. That's something which is um, feminine. So you say une chaussette. Une chaussette. And une chaussette épaisse. Une chaussette épaisse. Alors, on répète. Une écharpe. Des gants. Un manteau. Un gilet. Un poule, un, un poule au vert, un bonnet, des chaussettes épaisses. Or you can also say 
une chaussette est best if you want to say it in singular way. Now, let's continue with anorak. Anorak is known as an anorak. Un anorak, anorak. Bah, C'est vraiment important de bien prononcer. Alors, répétez s'il vous plaît. Un anorak. Anorak. Un anorak. On continue avec hooded. Now, a hoodie, or you can say a hooded sweater, which has a cap at the back. So that's known as un sweater à capuche. That's, that hood is known as capuche. So you say un sweater à capuche. Capuche. Alors, earmuffs. Earmuffs, they are known as un cache-oreille. Un cache-oreille. Cache-oreille. So basically, cache comes from the word caché. Caché means to hide. So such a thing with which you hide your ears, that's known as un cache-oreille. Now, the shoes. Now, normally the shoes are known as des chaussures. Des chaussures. Des chaussures. But in winters, you generally wear the shoes which have a length, which have a height. So that means the high shoes in French would be known as des chaussures montantes. Des chaussures montantes. But if you normally want to say the shoes, you would say des chaussures. And if you want to say it in singular, then you say une chaussure. That's feminine. So you say une chaussure. So des chaussures, une chaussure. And if you want to say the high shoes, that is des chaussures montantes. Allez. The mittens. The mittens that you wear in your hand, that's known as des moufles. Des moufles. Moufles. OU is OU. So you say moufles. And if you want to say the singular one, that is a mitten, then that is known as. Une moufle, une moufle. Alors, on répète, on va faire une petite révision. Un anorak, un sweater à capuche, à cache-oreille, des chaussures mentantes et des moufles. Now let me know in the comment section below that which word did you love the most or maybe which word is your new favorite, which word you did not know before. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and for daily updates and reminders, do not forget to hit the bell icon. And I'll see you very soon with the next video. Till then, au revoir, à bientôt et bisous bisous.